Welcome to the Sandro channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Hi folks, Sandro here with Book Cartoon News and Shenanigans. And today, I got a quick little video for you guys. And it's a pretty exciting one suggested to me by Anthony Garcia. Thank you so much, Anthony Garcia. He wanted me to do a video about the top 15 most streamed animated movies on Disney Plus in the last quarter. So quarters are usually three months, right? There's 12 months in a year. If you divide that by four, you get three months. And so in the past three months, let's see what's been going on. Uh, data belongs to Parrot, uh, Parrot Analytics, Fix Patrol, and Nielsen. Um, and the only one I really recognize there is obviously the Nielsen ratings, right? Uh, those are pretty big, but, um, more con, uh, more content will be ordered if they keep getting streamed. So yeah, as long as, uh, you know, these are doing well, things are going good. So the number one movie in the past three months has been Encanto. You can see that. Hold on. Let me hide my face here for a second. Uh, there you go. Encanto is number one. You can see that in the bottom corner there, uh, or sorry, in the top corner. Uh, so Encanto number one, right up here. And, um, my theory for why this one is just so popular is the songs. This the Encanto has at least a couple, like two or three good songs. I don't know, but some of the rest of them were just kind of iffy. Uh, I never really liked that one. The song where that that big girl I can't remember the big girl's name, or she's the strong one that can like lift rocks and bridges and stuff. Uh, her song, I never liked her song. Uh, but some of the other songs in this movie are very very catchy, and uh, I think for a lot of kids. They just want to keep singing those songs over and over and over again, and they love it. Uh, so, yeah, as for the story of Encanto, you guys know my thoughts on this. I give this movie a 5 out of 10. I, I just didn't like it because it didn't have a villain. Um, this is a big problem that I feel like a lot of Disney and uh, Pixar movies have had as of late. They just don't have villains. They're just really boring stories like Luca, which, which is number 5. I don't know how the fuck. Uh, but... <laughs> I, I could not tell you why Luca is this popular, but yeah, I, I just really can't stand this modern day Disney. They used to be known for having the best villains of any franchise in the fucking world. And they, they just, where's the villains? Where's the villain? Moana, where's the villain? Turning red, where's the villain? You know what I mean? At least Zootopia had a villain. That was good. Um, you know, a bit of a twist villain, but still n n nonetheless, it was a villain. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, there's just this trend. There's just this terrible trend with Disney. They're lacking villains and I hate their movies for not having villains. Uh, Moana, same situation. I guess you could say the sea was the villain for, you know, <laughs> for almost, you know, killing a bunch of people. Uh, but, um, yeah, in the end, basically nothing happens in this film and, uh, the day is saved. You know, they get to go keep on living. Uh, the, the, you know, the, nobody starves to death. All the crops, the, you know, the life, the life on the island doesn't die. And uh, I, I mean, I, I guess some things happen, but it's just like I, I wanted a big boss fight. At the, it's kind of like a video game, you know, you play a video game and then usually at the end, there's supposed to be a big boss that you have to take down. A lot of these Disney films from modern day are just very slice of life esque. And I, I just don't like them. But uh, Moana, I did think Moana was better than Encanto, though. That's for sure. Um, Moana had also great, great songs. Very catchy songs there. At the same time, very bad song. You know, some of them were good. Some of them were you know, very not good. Uh, but overall, uh, Moana, I would probably give a 6 out of 10. As for Turning Red, I think I gave this one a 2 out of 10. I, I really think this is one of the worst uh, Disney or Pixar films they've ever made. Uh, I am no fan of uh, Turning Red. I, I told you guys multiple times, lack of villain. I found the movie boring. I, I really hated the depiction of Canada. I'm Canadian, you know. I'm Canadian, really couldn't stand the depiction of Canada. It's like you have all of Canada. You have like the French people in Quebec. You have the aboriginals up north. You have uh, Canada has a majority white population, uh, which is somewhere around like 70%. Who do we make a film about? Uh, fucking Chinese people. Why? Why? How often do we get a film about Canada? And they, they're like, no, screw it. It needs to be about Chinese people. Um, yeah, so I, I was just not impressed with this one at all. Um, uh, and, and as for the villain, see, I, I told you guys this multiple times. I thought the grandma, the grandma shows up with like a scar on her face. I thought that she was secretly going to be like the villain at the end. 
Like maybe, maybe she would even like kill her own daughter or something because she had a scar on her face. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, at the time I didn't, sorry, I, I do know I watched the film, but at the time I didn't know, I was like, okay, where's this going? Is the grandma going to be the villain? It, it just ends up that the main character, what's her name? Like may, she just ends up fighting her mother in the sky dome, which is like this old Canadian building that doesn't even exist anymore. They renamed it. And, um, that's the end of the film. Uh, <laughs> just, just awful. Uh, so yeah, I really believe truly in my heart that this one is a bad one. Although I am a little bit biased and I think this, this is a terror for a Canadian film. This is just a very not good representative of Canada. Just like nothing here screamed Canada to me other than the locations there. They showed, you know, like Tim bits and Tim Hortons or whatever. They had a couple of, you know, Canadian buildings in there, but other than that, it's like, what the fuck is this shit? You know, <laughs> like I, I was having none of it. It's basically a movie about a little girl, um, you know, uh, almost as if they're trying to do a metaphor for a little girl having her first period. And it's just a weird film. It's for girls. It's for little girls. Uh, it's not for me. It's just not for me. And that's why I give it a two out of 10. Uh, Zootopia, great film. I, I couldn't tell you very many, uh, bad things about Zootopia. I thought it was a great film. Luca, same situation, just a boring ass film. I actually made a, a video on this channel called is Luca a snoozer. And some of you guys said, no, you really love Luca. I just felt nothing happens in this film. See, I mentioned like some of these films, like nothing really happened. Like in Canto, barely anything happens. Luca literally steals the show. Like what the fuck happens in Luca? Like literally nothing. Even at the end of the movie, you're like, oh my God, like the Italian citizens discovered that there's sea people. There's actually like these sea creatures, you know, these like weird sea monster people. And like, no, no, but they don't call the government. Like nothing happens. Nothing happens in this film. There's no villain. There's like a bully who's just like, he has a little role at the end in the bike race. And the bike race wasn't even that good. It was so garbage. Now it's Toy Story on the other end. This is, see, I can understand why this is up here, right? Even after all these years, Toy Story, huge film. Uh, and I do love Sid. I actually put Toy Story as, in my tier list. If you guys have ever seen my tier list. I always put Toy Story as my number one because it's one of the greatest films of all time. Uh, as for Lightyear, I also gave this a 2 out of 10. I thought it was just woke trash garbage. And um, I, I think that really why are people watching this just because they thought it was Toy Story. But in the end, it was just nothing. This was a box office bomb, by the way. It was, it was just terribly received. And uh, I personally think they shouldn't have even bothered to make this film. They should have just made a, a completely new Pixar movie. And at least tried to make something fresh, you know? Uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. You guys, if you've been watching this channel, you know that I don't like China. I don't like communism. I, I feel I feel that a lot of these um, country or countries, a lot of these companies like Disney, especially with the Mulan situation where they literally credited, you know, the, the, the CPP, the, the Chinese uh, party over there for letting them use their their special camps where they kept the Uyghur Muslims, right? That's creepy, that's crazy and disturbing. Uh, and so whenever it comes to Disney trying to make these uh, films that are catering to Chinese audiences, like also Turning Red, again, this, is, this should have been a film about Canada. It, it's basically about a Chinese a Chinese family living in Canada. So I, I feel like a lot of the times Disney isn't making these for us at home. They're not making these for Americans. They're not making these for North Americans. A lot of time I get this feeling they're just making them for the Chinese audience. And uh, for me, Ray and the last dragon was one that I simply skipped. I boycotted it and I'm never going to watch it. Uh, cars. Cars is just a great, you know, if you're a kid, you probably have gone to the store and bought in a car you know, one of the cars from the movies with the little face on it. I could see why this is very, very popular movie years after its release. Same thing with The Nightmare Before Christmas, although not merchant. This one isn't merchandise related. But The Nightmare Before Christmas is basically the reason in Canto. Uh, you know, Halloween. We just had Halloween. Great little film. Also, it's technically a Christmas film too. It's kind of a weird mishmash. So I could understand why people would be watching this in like the last quarter here. Uh, a great little Halloween movie, great little music. This film has a very unique and distinct style. 
you know, uh, stop motion. It just looks amazing. It looks beautiful. It, the songs are great. The characters are great. It has villains, you know, multiple villains when you really think about it. And uh, I really, you could even say that Jack himself is technically a villain. <laughs> I, I just really like this one. Disney needs to make more shit like uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, what is this one? Ice Age Buck Wild. I have no fucking clue why this film is here. I have heard this was the worst Ice Age. I saw my brother watching this, okay? My brother really likes Ice Age. I saw him watching this on TV. He shut it off because the animation was so bad. And I watched a little bit with him. I saw the animation. I'm like, fuck no. This looks like shit. I'm out. You know, uh, I think Disney really did a disservice by, um, you know, discontinuing Blue Sky Studios. It was a great, great studio. They dissolved it out of existence. And um, it's just a real shame what became of them. They, they used to make quality and then they made Buck Wild. And uh, that was the end of them, you know. Uh, Chip and Dale. This is a very interesting film that uh, I, I did watch it, by the way. Uh, I personally thought that this one, it was obviously trying to be inspired by who framed Roger Rabbit with all the different art styles. They had Muppets. They had like little puppets and Muppets. They had clay, uh, or, sorry, not claymation. Um, what do you call it? Stop motion animation. They had animation. They had like 3D animation. They, they took everything in this film. They took everything. And um, overall, I think I just mostly gave it a five or a six out of 10. It was, the story wasn't like anything too big. They did have a villain though. That, you know, I have to give them credit for that one. But uh, I, I thought the film was enjoyable. I just don't know if I ever want a sequel to it. You know, like I felt like it was a great little film. That's all. I'd rather have the original like Rescue Rangers cartoon, right? And that's what I would rather have. Um, oh, I just realized also Cars on the Road came out recently. And uh, that th these are only movies. But yeah, Cars on the Road, I believe, was on the other list. I think I have the other list uh, somewhere here. Uh, yeah, this was on the uh, the top animation. Uh, so that's why that would be there, right? Because Cars on the Road uh, is right there. You guys, it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, Cars on the Road kind of like boosted the franchise. And maybe more people wanted to watch Cars. Uh, so that's something to, you know, think about. Also... I thought, yeah, Chippendale Rescue Rangers was one of the most watched things. So I think what a lot of people did was they watched the Rescue Rangers show from back in when I was a kid. And then they're like, hey, now that, that, now that we watch that cartoon, we can watch the movie. So this kind of went hand in hand marketing here. Uh, as with, I don't know what this is. Ron's Gone Wrong. I've never heard of this and uh, I just don't know about it. So I can't comment. This is the only film on the entire list that I simply have never heard of and don't know anything about it. Uh, as for number 14, Frozen is Frozen, you know. <laughs> the merchandising machine is in full force with this one. Great, I, I mean, due to the icy stature of the movie, you know, it's all about Frozen. It's all about the cold. This is a movie you would probably want to watch around Christmas. Uh, I could definitely see why this one is uh, in the spotlight still right here in the fourth half of the year. And, um, you know, again, similar to Encanto, a lot of fan favorite songs, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why that one's on here. Uh, Coco, uh, day of the dead. There was the recent day of the dead. And, uh, when, when is it October? It was at the end of October or the beginning of November. Uh, the day of the dead was recently. So I can understand why Coco actually, let's look it up. When is the day of the dead? I for, always forget a uh, day of the dead. Uh, Wednesday, November uh, 2nd, sorry, Wednesday, November 2nd. So we can understand why that one was on here. Uh, a lot of families probably are like, Hey, the, it's the day of the dead. Let's watch Coco, you know? Uh, and again, another film, uh, this film compared to some of the other ones, I, I don't think Coco has very good songs. I, I, I thought they were just mediocre, uh, but I did like Coco. I think it's a great little film there. Um, definitely better than some of these other ones like Encanto and, uh, turning red and Luca for sure. Uh, but still not one of my all time favorites when it comes to Pixar, right? Uh, Coco is up there. It's just not up there, up there. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's going to be the list. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will be doing this list at some point in the future where I go over like all the shit on here. Unfortunately, there's a lot more shit. I have no clue. Like what the fuck, uh, <laughs> Spider-Man and what going on here? Spider-Man and his amazing friend. Like, I've never seen that show. There's a lot of shows on here that are really kid-friendly. But, um, yeah, it's really interesting to see. 
Uh, at least some of the modern cartoons are on here. Like, I I think one of the scariest things for Disney is if people were only watching the older shit, you know what I mean? Like, you see Rescue Rangers on here. It'd be really, really scary if, like, only the old content was on Disney's radar. Because then they'd be like, oh, my God, we're making all this new shit and nobody's watching it. You know, <laughs> so it's great to see stuff like, um, you know, Amphibia or Ghost and Molly McGee. Uh, I'm actually surprised no star versus the force of evil on here, but uh, very, very interesting. Yeah, we'll go through this in a different video. Uh, so that's going to be the end of the video. I want to hear your guys' comments on this list. Do you guys agree with some of the stuff here? Uh, I do want to hear your thoughts. Do you guys agree with some of my uh, takes on, you know, turning red or, you know, whichever other films here? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And why not watch an ad for your boy Sandro? Thank you guys so much. Peace out. Bye-bye and have a great day.